So immunology of this infection has moved forward in, in leaps and bounds. And I've been astounded by the progress since we first got the virus sequence in January the 11th. We know more about immunity to this virus than about many other pathogens on Earth. So I think the, the effort has been astounding. And that there's been payoff in terms of you know, fine tuning of treatment and you know, fewer people dying. So, I, so in some senses, I think it's gone well. If you're asking me where do we stand on the, on the herd immunity idea, um, you know, we, we are where we are. It was probably never going to work. Um, most of the urban centres where we've had infection are probably at about 10 or 15 percent of the population immune. And immunity to this thing looks rather fragile. It looks like um, some people might have antibodies for a few months and then they might wane. So it's, it's not looking like a safe bet. Yeah, so, so much for the game changer that the Prime Minister was talking about yeah. a while back as well. Yes, I, 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 think, I, think, I think it's... It's a very, um, I think one person called it a very deceitful virus. It's, the immunity to it is very confusing. Um, and I said rather short-lived. Danny, in terms of, and you, you made some very important comments there, as ever, uh, fine-tuning of treatment, less people are dying. The fact is, we are way better at understanding how to treat this now and the respiratory effects and what it does to our lungs. And, and, and of course, we're better prepared. There are more ventilators. Hopefully, there's more PPE now as well. So are we more prepared for this second wave that you believe will come, sir? I, I do think it will come. I do think we're much better prepared. Um, and yet, you know, I think to most of us, it looks still very, very scary. Um, you know, anybody who thinks that the virus has got more mild or gone away or that somehow the problem is going to solve itself is, is kidding themselves. You know, it, it's still a very lethal virus. It still infects people very, very readily. Um, and I think, you know, humanity isn't used to dealing with those realities of a few hundred years ago where there are very deadly pathogens out there that could stop you in your tracks. You know, we've, 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 we've forgotten that idea. It used to be very common. And we you know we've, we've lost that notion. Back at school, the other one isn't. I'm, I'm my youngest, I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely sure about her social distancing when she has playdates as well, albeit she's only eight years of age. Um, but in terms of who this is affecting as society as well, do we just have to take it on the chin on this one and say younger people are, they may be able to transmit it, but they're not having the ill effects of this like a lot of us older people out there as well. Do we just have to be very, very careful about the kind of people we have allowed to go out uh, and, as we saw the scenes from the weekend, go out to the pub, go out to restaurants, have a more normal life as opposed to those of us who are a little bit older, we just have to be more careful. And, of course, those who have special vulnerabilities, they just need to be shielded. I think to some extent that's true. I think we need to be very careful. I'm not going to any pubs anytime soon. Um, and I think the answers are very nuanced. So I, you know, I think we all accept that our children need to go back to school and need to get an education. Um, and there are few children who have been hospitalised, so the risk to them is, is rather small. The risk from them in terms of transmitting to other people, we don't know. So, so the answers are quite nuanced and they really matter because the only trick we have up, have up our sleeves at the moment really is to block transmission. It's the only thing we can do. What do you think about Sir David King's view that we're going to lose another 27,000 people potentially uh, over the winter if we carry on with the current strategy? Yeah, I mean, I, I, to some extent, I agree with him. You know, I think a lot of um, scientists, immunologists, vaccinologists feel very scared. Um, you know, when I read my newspaper, there are fewer and fewer pages devoted to this infection, like it's gone away or we've got used to it or it doesn't matter. But the virus doesn't understand that. It's still lethal. It's still out there. And it's, it's not like other um, kind of political issues that politicians around the world face, where you can somehow face it down with bravado. The virus doesn't care. It's still out there transmitting and killing. So, yes, I, I do feel very worried.